Yeah, what up, what up, what up? It's the one and only and only one, Flea Boy Jetson. And if you're tuning in for the first time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, y'all already know the vibe. Also, click that notification bell so you can be notified for upcoming videos and live events. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Season Pass 4 titled Regeneration. We're going to break down every part of this theme and we're also going to give some clues on what may be or may not be our season four dlcs so without further ado let's go crazy and if you in the premiere you a motherfucking go he tried to front that's a man down look remember when i was the broke out of plan in the pan down look these niggas they copy the drip that they label as fans now look got it straight off the money that we up give a fuck about no handouts he tried to front that's a man down look remember when i was the broke out of plan in the pan down yeah, what up, what up, what up? It's the one and only and only one, but you already know the rest. And if you don't, then you've been sleeping under a rock. But today we talking about season four pass, man. Titled Regeneration is the theme they going with. And I'm not even going to hold you. It got my mom bugging, doing cartwheels, backflips, trying to get around this theme and trying to figure out what they got planned for season four. Now, when I think of regeneration, I think of reanimated ninja ninjas. Like Ido Itachi, maybe Minato, who knows what they got planned on doing, but I'm not even going to hold you. A Minato reanimated man will break the game. Oh my God, could you imagine that boy is six, sage of six paths? Jesus, yo, stop holding me, Bandai. Give me what I need. Give me what I want. But also regeneration, they could be going the Barto route with Kara because almost every member in Kara holds some type of regeneration move. Now, they also use the keyword regeneration and they also use rebirth. And, you know, they going exactly as stated. So, they telling us to wait for future content, but we can't wait for that. We don't want to wait for that. We want it now. We want it right now. So, I'm going to break down what I think this DLCs may or may not be. But first, I'm going to give my wish list. This is something that I'm wishing for. I hope it happens. If it don't happen, well too bad oh well so sad but i honestly hope it does and my first on my wish list is kamahamaru like why not man which version we get and eh, who knows but i hope they give us the real right version man not the goofy that they put in the beginning of barto next generation man i don't want him all right well moving on along man coming in at number four is kara's very own kaijin koji you, now, no spoiler alerts, man, but there's a big, big reason why I feel like he's definitely important to the game. If you know, you know. If you don't, I'm not going to spoil it here on the channel for you. You know, just make sure you stay caught up in Barto, um, Next Generation. But I definitely want to see what he brings to the game. And all Kara members could regenerate. So it makes perfect sense to put him in the game and it would add that Barto flavor that we've been needing. If you notice two people on my wish list are Barto characters. Now they need to put something fresh in the game. They need to move past the Shippuden era. So with Kajin Koji man I think he will make a perfect choice. But remember this is just my wish list. This is not what I actually think they're going to do. Now, I'm going to keep it on it. If they do keep it the Shippuden route and they choose to give us some villains, because I'm thinking we're going to get some villains in Season 4 because we got nothing but heroes in Season 3's DLC. Now, if they do that, man, please, man, you got either or, man. I don't care which one you choose. Either Obito Uchiha or Madara Uchiha, man, Ten Tails version. Oh my god, they gonna go crazy, man. Could you just imagine what they can go do with their ninjutsus and ultimates? Imagine the ten tails. Like my guy's dragon or or um Naruto's nine tails on the battlefield just shooting a oh my bro. Let's just move on to number two because I'm geeking out. And number two is the obvious choice, Kawaki. I'ma keep it a hundred. I'm gonna put him on my wish list and my prediction list and the reason why i'm doing this is because this is something that i think they're going for i think they're definitely going to bring kawaki to the game i know we got his hairstyle and clothes but i'm pretty sure there's a lot more that they can do with his dlc package his ninjutsus and his ultimate i'm curious to see what they're going to do and to be honest he's popping right now why wouldn't you in the manga he's popping in the anime he's popping 
you know, it, it'll just be an overall great look for Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Striker to put him in the game. So I'm definitely going to put him on my wish list and my prediction list at number two. Now at number one, if you know, you know, that's right, baby. Momo Shiki, man. Yo, listen. I really hope they put my boy Momoshiki in the game, man. They need to start putting some type of Osuzuki members in it, man. And also, man, Osuzuki gang, stand up. Y'all already know what it is. We get this DLC. We going crazy. But, yes, that is my wish list, man. Let me know your wish list in the comment section below. Now, I'm going to go with my prediction list and what I think they might do with this regeneration theme. I think they're going to go the reanimated route. I'm not sure, I might be completely wrong, but if they do, number five will be Itachi Uchiha. Now, I see a lot of people commenting this and say, yo, flee, flee. So this is more or less a community prediction than my own prediction, but I think they might do that, but I'm not with all the double casting, and I'm not talking about the cheating shit y'all be doing, but I think they're gonna give us another Sasuke, man. What I mean by double casting, giving us the same hero or character two times man with Sasuke it's three we already got three um we already got two Sasuke's in the game why give us a third one I didn't want it for season three I don't want it for season four I wouldn't mind if you gave us Indra's arrow and maybe the the ninjutsu that you have for him Kiba and Shino and some ninjutsu packs which I think would be a smart move to do and even a money grab for y'all because people like me will definitely purchase the ninjutsu but to waste him on a DLC slot man it will be completely wrong man please man die if you're listening Salil man don't do it don't do it please man don't do it but if you choose to it's whatever man now if they are doing the reanimated thing it's only right man they give us Minato, man. Come on, bro. Reanimated Minato will be crazy, bro. And he's probably everybody's favorite reanimated ninja. Just imagine him in stage of six paths going crazy as an ultimate, man. That will be so dope. And I'm not going to hold you. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of double casting as DLCs. But if you're going to put another character in this, just another version, man, why not him, man? I think he will be a great addition. But if you're going to go the villain route, hey, there's always Donzo to put in the game. And I'm going to keep it 100. I think he will be a perfect addition. I think that some of the ninjutsu they could come up with and his ultimate will literally be meditating and break the game. So I'm definitely interested in seeing that. And if they are going to add additional villains to season four then bro come on you gotta give us the big bad of naruto shippuden man the one they x'd out my boy Madara for i don't know what's wrong with y'all man how y'all x my man out his own series bro that was basically his story come on but without um further ado my number one pick kaguya that's right man kaguya Otsuzuki, man, I think would be a perfect addition to the game. And I think she's definitely coming to season four. I may be wrong about her. I might be wrong about this whole damn list. Who knows? But this is my wish list, wish list, excuse me, and my prediction list. Let me know in the comment section your prediction list and your wish list. Because, you know, two different things, man. Let me know who, what you would predict these fools are going to give us for season four DLCs. Or give me your wish list and let me know what you want to see for season four. Also, the Discord link is in the description below. And that PS5 giveaway is real, baby. We're giving it away in June. To get that PS5, you got to follow me on Twitter. So make sure you follow me on Twitter. And also make sure you engage in the comment section and like share the videos all that good stuff man because the more you do that the more points you get and whoever has the most points will win that ps5 but definitely check y'all out later man also don't forget to check out other videos and i'll also bringing out another video either today or tomorrow on the shinobi light concept because bro there's a lot to dissect and break down about that shinobi light stuff so i'm definitely going to do that man but if you here for the first time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, click that notification bell so you can be notified for upcoming videos and live events. And Clan Wars, baby, broken. 
is going down May 15th. So make sure you register your clan. That's right. Registrations are open and ready to go. So let's go crazy. And shout out everybody that's in the premiere. Shit, if you is in the premiere right now, man, hit up the chat and let's go crazy. Because y'all some motherfucking goats and I'm up there, bitch.